Guys, wow. <laughs> Molly, say hi. I'm fat. Hey, Molly. Why you show my bro? Guys, this is Callie, my roommate. Hey. Marina, you want to say hi? No, no. <laughs> so we're going to do a roommate tag. You're going to see them. <laughs> Eventually. Eventually. So uh, I think this is a good way to say, let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's I Gloria and I'm back with another video. Okay, I can't be like Jackie, Ina. I'm glorious. But anyway, so today's video is actually going to be on female hygiene. So, um, yeah, so today's video is actually going to be on female hygiene. Um, for many of you guys who may or may not know, I am actually a public health major, yes, an Africana Studies minor. And with that being said, being a part of my major has really gotten me very involved in um, just feminine hygiene, feminine care, and especially being an African female. I feel like as an African female, I feel like we don't know too much about our bodies it's not really promoted in our culture that's the minute where people either start thinking we're being vulgar or we're sexually active or whatever the case may be and i want to begin to change that narrative by addressing it um in videos such as these where it's like we should be able to be comfortable as women to be able to talk about our bodies and the things that go on within ourselves within our bodies and whatnot so that is what this video is about and i've seen a lot of these videos out here i might as well share my teas with you guys period period poo so I have about five tips um, to share with you guys on how to take care of yourself as a female, how to be clean, and all those things. So, tip number one, yes, we're going to talk about the type of underwear that you wear. Um, yeah, so um, this is not in no, any specific order. I just put this down in my notes. I just wanted to make sure. Stay very clear away from tight underwear. And you want to try to buy a new pair of underwears as much as possible just to switch out um, your underwear. You don't want to be wearing underwear that you've been wearing since you were in fourth grade. Yes, I said fourth grade. It's tearing, throw it away. Like, there are so many discounts. Victoria's Secrets has discounts. Ross. Ross has some bomb underwears. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't know, get into it. These are the seamless underwears. I love these. Um, I usually get them in boy shorts. Um, I don't know what kind of underwear this is called. You know, thong, jumps, whatever. Okay, that's... It's up to you, your preference, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like there's certain underwears for certain outfits, so, and that's another thing. I just feel like oftentimes as women, like, we say, oh, I can't wear thongs. I used to be one of those girls. But it's just one of those things where it's like, the older you get, the more you realize there's certain types of underwears for certain types of outfits. Sometimes it's great because it doesn't have any type of line on it, but you can also wear underwears that are kind of like these where it doesn't have any type of line. It's seamless and, um, yeah, so... The type of underwear you have matters and how and you just need to try to put it to your shopping schedule. It doesn't literally will not hurt you. Underwear can range from like $8.99 to you know $12 or whatever. Definitely consider buying a new pair of underwear and just trashing the old ones. Like it looking worn out, toss it. You don't need it anymore. Um, tip number two. Um, don't overshave, you know. Be free. Sometimes I feel like as women, we are so quick to shave down there um, for many reasons. You may want to shave because, yeah, having a lot of hair could be very uncomfortable. Sometimes people may shave down there in the name of, you know, uh, the, the norm. It's kind of a social construct low-key to shave, but I personally like to shave just because I don't like... As long as I feel like having a lot of hair down there is very uncomfortable, so I shave up here and there. Like, I try to... Before, it used to be very, like consistent but i try to shave like probably like once a month because i don't grow hair as much like quickly down there so once a month or whatever just so i could spray it like spread out the shaving um process now try not to shave too much and because one reason why you shouldn't shave too much is because one your hairs actually are protected it's a protective layer for your actual vagina which is crazy the hairs are literally there to protect your vagina from diseases and all those different things like it's a very sensitive area so usually the hairs are there to protect it it depends on you it depends on your preference but once again like shaving all the time it's not really by force whether you have hair or you don't have hair it having hair does not mean it will lead to smelling and not having hair does not mean you will not smell i just feel like it all goes into clean cleanliness now um, for those who shave with Nair, I shave with Nair, I will not lie to you, there's a specific way you should do it though. If you shave with Nair, 
once again do not shave all the time just because you see hair does not mean you should call it nair that's all i have to say because if you shave too much with nair it potentially lead to a bacterial vaginosis or a yeast infection because nair is ultimately a scented product um that is not meant for the vagina so um yeah i will get into that too with the scented products but if you're gonna shave with nair i mean for me i do it i know a lot of youtubers talk about shaving with nair if you're gonna shave down there with nair i would say once a month don't overdo it literally you will be okay you will be just fine okay um and also just be careful like figure out what type of nair brands you like i'm allergic to the nair aloe vera one i like the nair version where you can use it in the shower i know i haven't received any kind of like irritations with that pay attention to your down there like you know you may start to feel a little itchy you know all those kind of things all figure it out like probably you shouldn't use nair or probably you opt out for the razor version using the razor razor and whatnot but once again for those who do um, shave with a razor, I will. I know that if you're not careful, you could also scratch yourself. So that's why I say like shaving once a month will be perfectly fine. You don't want to make it a constant like thing to be like constantly shaving. But it also depends on you. If you grow a lot of hair and you feel the need to shave like you know constantly, that's cool. But it just depends. Gauge it. Like a little bit of hair will not kill you. Once it becomes a forest, you might want to you know. But it depends. Once again, I heard this. I'm really learning. Being a public health major has been teaching me a lot about this stuff and how, like, it could ultimately be a um, social construct for you to constantly, like, want to shave. It actually is not by force for you to have to shave. I mean, that's just you and how you personally feel. It's your preference. But for the shaving part as well, like, definitely for your armpits, ladies, for your armpits, it will be great, yes, for you to shave. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's, it's good. It's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. Shave, okay? Make sure you like, you know, especially when you're wearing a little, sh I mean, now that it's winter, you can get away with it, but just making sure that these areas are shaved because once again, I notice like for me, I usually like to shave before my period comes so that when it comes, it's like, I'm not, I, I wear pads. So it's one of those things where it's like, when it comes, the pad isn't going to get irritated. And just all this stuff. Like, I just feel like the less hair, the better. But that's me. That's how I do things. It just keeps it from tangling. And, oh, God. <laughs> My goodness gracious. Shave once a month. That's all I got to say. Um, cool. Now, we're going to get into washing. <sighs> when you take a shower, yeah? One, be very mindful some soaps that you use may not be for you. I understand that some people opt out for the more um, organic soaps. That's cool. Not a problem. But also, I know I find for me when it comes to my skin, I like to stick to things that I've been using since I was a kid. So since I was a kid, I've been using Olay. And I haven't really changed out of like swapped out of Olay and stuff. I notice when um, I use other types of soap, my skin tends to feel kind of weird and like um squeaky if that makes any sense i don't know if you guys know what i'm talking about it's like a weird like squeaky clean kind of feeling it's not soft so i feel like um when i use olay it's like my skin is like okay this is normal i'm used to this and i stick to that if i want to smell cute or whatever i use my um bath and body works soap or whatever the case may be but i usually stick between olay and bath and body works and whatnot when it comes to the kind of soaps that i use but once again you just want to be very mindful of your body and really listen to it because it, it speaks to you taking a shower yeah so when it comes to cleaning down there she is not your armpit she's not your thigh she's not your neck she's not behind your ear she's none of that she is herself and um, you want to treat her like a delicate flower. Let's just say you're watering a plant, right? When you water a plant, do you just drop it in the ocean? No. Why? Because that's just too much water. That's a lot of pressure on that plant. So that's the analogy I'm going to use to explain how you clean up down there. Sis, do not. Ha don't you dare take your sponge and soap. And scrub down there because she is not the same she has her own built-in soap and water well no she has her own built-in soap she just needs you to bring the water that's all provide the water she has her own soap that's all so how I suggest you clean up that area and you want to be very very like specific like very um 
you know careful with it like delicate with it as well so i would either suggest like i would suggest using a face wash a face cloth like a yeah a face cloth a face towel boom face towel and what you do is literally like wipe around that area with like water like clean out so what i usually do is open up the flaps yeah let water hit it cool 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 and then you can get a face towel and really get the other areas like move around and make sure it is completely clean why i say this is because for my ladies who are prone to like discharge a lot of discharge and stuff i would say that um you especially you like if you tend to find yourself secreting a lot I would say that um, you especially would want to make sure that you, you like go around the like the lips of your vagina and make sure that you get there because what can happen is you not cleaning that area up can eventually lead to a yeast infection and a yeast infection is actually a very common thing that happens to all of us and yes I said us I've had a yeast infection before it's not nice okay it's not fun it's very common it's something that happens to every female at least once in her life she's itchy as hell <laughs> so you better you gotta listen <laughs> you gotta pay attention so and to keep you from feeling uncomfortable or whatever the case may be um that it's very prone like literally to women who often tend to have a lot of discharge because if you're not careful with the cleaning process of that you could eventually lead to having yeast infection Ye yeast infection is ultimately um bacteria so imagine you have discharge and you don't clean up it can stay there and eventually become bacteria become dirty and old so yes um there that is why i say that when you're cleaning up down there you want to be very careful and even with the yeast infection it could be a bacterial vaginosis that's another type of infection which is not as it's not as bad as a yeast infection these are not things that you can contract from people these are things that literally these are like um things that happen within you so let's put it like this it's a bacteria that you create okay it's your dirt that created an infection that's what it is um so I would always say use a like a face cloth really get get in between really get in there and clean up the area then get water and clean up that area do not put soap in there because soap can ultimately because it's scented and it's chemical it's gonna mess it's gonna um it almost reminds me of like an antibody kind of like how some people take like antibiotics and stuff and what it does is fight back um it fight back it fights back bacteria but sometimes we have good bacteria and I think this is how it goes, but I'm not completely sure. I'm, I'm taking classes for this. Once again, I'm an undergrad. But it fights back bacteria, and there's good bacteria. So if you take too many antibodies, when the good bacteria that's supposed to fight back against the bacteria that um, you're supposed to be immune to, now you're no longer immune to it because it's fight, fought against the, the good bacteria. So that's why we say that at the end of the day, keep your scented soap to the rest of your body and leave the vagina alone, period. Um, cool. Now, what else is I going to say as far as, oh yeah, washing your armpits. Make sure you wash your armpits. Make sure you wash your armpit. Make sure you wash your armpit. Especially from deodorant. Like, you put on deodorant. Cool, 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 whatever. But you will have deodorant residue. Hence the reason why I also say to shave because deodorant residue could be there in your armpit hairs. Like, it could literally mess you up. So you want to make sure you wash your armpits and clean up there. Like, scrub. Cool. And raise your hand. Clear. Get to your neck. When I was younger, I used to have a black neck. Y'all, I wish I could find a picture. I used to have a black neck. Look. We thank God. Get your neck, sis. Scrub it. Yeah, so my thing is, as far as um, a black neck goes, a lot of it too was because of eczema, but then a lot of it too is because I wasn't focusing on my neck. So get your neck. And then also your facial routine. I, I wash my face with my spin brush from Duval. If you want to know, I have a discount code down below with my where you can get your own Duval spin brush for the low, low. Okay, okay. So I actually have a video on that, which I will put the card to that right here where you can go ahead and watch that video on like my skincare routine. But definitely incorporate your facial routine to your wash. Let's just get into the scented, smelling good. Yeah, so I would just say like be careful with the scented products and things like that because it can react with your body your body will let you know what products are good and what products are bad um even with deodorants too there are certain deodorants that could cause you to get an irritation or it cause you to like yeah react to them so be very mindful in trying out certain deodorants i use secret i don't really have an issue with secret but i'm still in um search for good deodorants that will not like cause that black 
that whole black stuff down there like it's to get rid of those once again washing your armpits scrubbing them I use this kind of sponge for um, my body this for my Americans if you want to get into this if you go to your local um, African traditional store you probably see these up front but these are so great for scrubbing um, I prefer these over the loofahs yeah so def I definitely use that on my body and everything like that just to get everywhere I feel like it does a good job at doing that um yeah what else is I about to say yeah and also for scented lotions too for my people who may be eczema prone or just at prone to just rashes I would stick to body butters or stick to I use Eucerin. Eucerin is something I've been using since I was a kid. Um, Palmer's cocoa butter. I use I use cocoa. Y'all know I love me the cocoa butter. But Palmer's cocoa butter and Eucerin are the two lotions that I've been using. I also suggest that you guys go and check out your dermatologist for and let them suggest to you certain lotions that you should be using for your skin. Um, once again, going back to what you were using when you were a kid. If you are prone to always trying out new lotions. I would calm down on the amount of um, lotions that you try out and stick to one specific type of lotion and move on from there type stuff don't over try out things um, oh now periods you um, okay as far as your period goes and like pads and stuff like that I would definitely say that you need to make sure that you change your pads do not keep them on for too long long every time you go to the bathroom you can check your pad check if it's like okay it's not too much okay cool 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 once that don't you gotta don't wait till it's over like full and then change it no change your pad as many times as you can um when you go to the bathroom you know you see blood change it period for those who also use tampons i'm not really a tampon user I'm not really a tampon user, but I'm a pad user. And for those who are on, like who use pads, just make sure you change your pad. Make sure you take your shower so that you don't smell. Like, change your pad, change your underwear, you know, and change your clothes. Like sometimes when you're on your period, it makes you a little lazy. But you want that's when you should honestly be your cleanest because it's just too much. Like, hence the reason why I try to make sure I shave right before my period because I don't want to have to deal with. I'm a, this is that type of video. I don't want to have to deal with like blood clogging like little blood clog stuff like little ball blood balls on my hairs like i just think it's nasty yes i said it so you want to make sure that you shave right before your period if you can or if you desire to i mean to each its own i just don't want that stress to having to scrub my it's just too much um now all of this being said if you guys want another female hygiene video i can definitely get that out to you because once again i am just very 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 big on females knowing their body and knowing the, the things that we could do to prevent certain issues like preventing yeast infections preventing bacterial vaginosis preventing different types of diseases that literally you can just get and give to yourself that's that's why i went into the major that i'm in now and i hope that eventually i can get out further to um my community back home and to um, surrounding communities to help our african women know our bodies and really be able to really be able to um one be confident in it but aside from just being confident being um safe in our bodies like you want to be safe in a place you want you know you, you can call a place a safe place when you can literally be comfortable in it you're not itching you don't smell you don't feel weird and these are things that happen especially when you're getting older for my girls who experience puberty like these are things that happen that you learn with time and i know many of us probably don't have big sisters like me i don't have a big sister i was my own big sister give or take like the other big sisters i had and youtube youtube was always my big sister so i make these kind of videos for people like you to um have a big sister who can tell you about the things that you're, you're experiencing if you smell it's normal you smell because your body's transitioning you're learning about yourself but it means you have to take your showers day and night your parents are telling you this they mean it out of love and care um you are itchy down there okay sis you want to go check your you want to go check you know your gynecologist or if you want to this brings me to my next point if you are in college which i feel like most of my demographic most of y'all are in college or going to college make sure you go to your university health center your uhs i have one here at, um 
on my campus and I usually check them out like at least once a month or like actually yeah once a month or once every semester whatever the case may be just to do a whole checkup if I'm not feeling well I go to them if I feel odd I go to them and they honestly are they have all the services that you need you can't go back home to go to your um to go to your checkup go to the UHS and let your parents call and be like yeah I went to them they have everything you could possibly think of like I'm telling you guys like when I when I needed medication y'all like they had everything and they're so kind and it's confidential they get into everything with you um you don't have to worry about feeling weird you don't have to worry about if you want a male if you want a female you literally everything you need is there so i suggest you guys go to your university health services on campus um because i mean at the end of the day ultimately you're paying for these services so why not utilize them and they can answer more questions than just a youtube video don't go on youtube trying to figure out how to get rid of an itch Go to your university health center and ask these questions to the doctor who specialized in these things. But that's that for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And it's your big sister. Your, yeah, I'm your big sister. I'm your big sister. Hi. Um, your big sister, I, Gloria. Um, and I am, I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And yeah, keep subscribing. Share this video with your friends and your families and whatnot. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on my social networks it's either here or here and yeah i'll be back with another video let me know what you guys want to see next because i'm trying to make more more videos for y'all and get me to one y'all we need to get to 1k we need to grow that's not on that things are changing it's evolving are y'all mocking me out there my roommates were mocking me all right guys i have to go pick up my sister from school so i'm gonna catch y'all